Okay, we have here a Dish Network 510 PVR receiver, which stands for Personal Video Recorder. Now they're calling DVRs, Digital Video Recorder. Anyway, this receiver came out, I guess, about 2002. And this is a 510, so I think it's the third version. Because I think it's started 501, 508, and 510. I think the big difference with the 510 is I think the hard drive is a little bigger. I think it's double spaced. They came out with 50 hours of recording. This one has 100 hours of recording. On the front of the box here, we have an info menu button. We have a cursor buttons, a select key, a sys info, and a power button. We got a power indicator, a recording indicator, three IR sensor lights. NPEG2 symbol and Adobe Digital symbol. And we got the Dish Network logo with the Dish Pro logo, which means that this is a Dish Pro compatible receiver with Dish Pro LMBs. All right. Now back to the MPEG2. Unfortunately, this receiver here will not be able to hook up to satellite Dish and show programming because Dish ended their MPEG2 programming last year so only thing that you can see on dish network equipment is mpeg4 this door here it flips down and we have a smart card in here i will pull it out usually kind of difficult i put my camera down my goodness come on there it is okay we have it looks like a g2 gen 2 smart card dish 500 we got the old logos from Showtime, Movie Channel, HBO Star, Cinemax, Sundance, Flix, and Encore. I think the amazing thing is I think all these channels still exist today because this receiver alone, like I said, is over 20 years old. And then in the back, we have a Dish Network symbol. We have the smart card number. And then we'll slide it back in so we get no errors when I power it up. Okay. Now, it also came with this remote that the customer gave me, but unfortunately the remote does not work. It's original, but the batteries were pretty old in it, and the acid decided to destroy the inside of it. All right, and I apologize again for the room, only one of my kids' room, so you know how kids can be. Anyway... All right, we have, there's a cooling fan. We got the satellite input for coax, the Dish Pro symbol. There's a satellite in, tells you the voltage. We got 13 slash 18 volts output, 750 millivolts. As you can see right there, the, that's covered up, but that's usually the voltage you need to power the LMB. All right, this box has multiple video outputs. You got a output one for composite, output two for composite, which we're going to use. We have a modulator of channel three and channel four. We have an over the air antenna input. And then we have a TV out for channel three or four. That's the out, and this is a modular. You can do three or four. We also have what was very popular at the time, the Mighty S video output, and the classic surround Dolby digital output. Phone jack for ordering pay-per-views and seeing who's calling you. And then we have the UHF remote antenna, so you can hide the box in a closet and still be able to change channels. Now we have this expansion port here. Don't know what that's for. I've never ever seen this used, and I've been at Dish for over 15 plus years, and I've never seen anybody have that hooked up. It has a power supply or accessory power, so I don't know. Maybe you can expand the hard drive, put an extra hard drive on it. That's one thing I can think of. I've just never seen anyone do it. And check this out. You don't see this much anymore. Made in USA with US and imported parts. And this is a original receiver because it only has one 
receiver tag on it. Most of the time when this has a reman receiver, there'll be multiple tags right here covering up tags, kind of like a license plate tag, how it keeps the, the expiration tag to keep piling them up. Well, this one here only has one, so this is an original model, never remanufactured. All right. Well, let's see if this works and see what we have on here. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in, and we'll be right back. Okay, I got it plugged in. We have it booting up. The cooling fan's coming on. The screen turned black. All good signs of it's going to work. I'm really curious about is how many recordings are on this box. That's what I'm real curious about. We'll find out. I'll be back. All right. Now we're going to find out here if it's going to come on and what's on the box. I think some of the times here you got to hit the power key because there is no standby screen. It's just a black screen. Press select. See if we get anything yet. Yep. There we go. Look at that old screen. Attention, acquiring set signal. Default, transponder 18, progress 05. Satellite default, because has no idea what it's hooked up to. So, let's hit the system info button and see what we can see about this box. Uh, looks like that button sticks. So we'll use a remote menu. We'll do six, one, three. System info. This tells you everything about the box. We have a DP510 smart card re receiver, smart card, this 500 card ready, software version, bootstrap version, dish network number, and dish network website. All right, now we got a point disc screen. That's a classic sound. I remember hearing those back in the day. They don't, they don't make the sound no more. We switch transponders. We got a check switch. Right now it shows nothing. So looks like it was hooked up to a twin before, but nobody could find a satellite dish to point it. And we're just gonna cancel out of here. Cancel out again and check this out. We got a picture size option. Look at that. You can actually do a 16 by 9. That's cool. Let's see if it switches it to the new widescreens. 4 by 3 standard. 16 by 9. Will it let me select it? Yes, it will. Now let's go to save and see what happens. Nothing really. It all stays the same. System info, call ID for a phone line, VCR setup. Set up your VCR for automatic receiver controlled recordings. Interesting. There's a model of your number, and I guess you can record. Set this up to record onto a tape. And activity, cancel. Let's cancel out of here. Oh, it'll be digital. Looks like. You can change the PCM or Adobe Digital. Cancel back. Alternate audio, probably for Spanish. Diagnostics, running test, which we're not going to do. Purchase info, see if this. So, as of, looks like this is <laughs> default Thursday, 1 1, 5 16 a.m., because it's getting no info from the dish. So, because we're not hooked up. Let's go check out some of these recordings. I'm going to hit the DVR button on this remote. Looks like I can't do it in here. Cancel out. DVR. Okay, look. It takes a little bit. So we do have some recordings on this box. Some movies recorded in August. Too bad it doesn't give a year. This gives a date. So a lot of summertime recordings here. And this box, this DVR is hardly full. 72 hours and 54 minutes left. Only has 12 events. Looks like we got 
and Lily Blaze, The Enforcer, Cool Runnings, it's a goofy movie, Mail Call, Jesus of Nazareth, Part 1 and 2, A Christmas Carol, The Professional, and The Patriot. I wonder if that's the Mel Gibson movie or the Steven Seagal movie. Let's look. Looks like it is. Ah, uh, New York Risk His Life to Protect. Ah, yeah, it's the Steven Seagal movie. And that came on Bravo, channel 129, which is still the same channel to this date. Let's see if it plays. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's professional. But old commercials. Cancel out of here. Put DVR. Let's see if that movie plays. There it is. That's professional. Can hardly see with this TV. There it is. Let's go to resume. Tell you what. <laughs> there he is. That's how young Seagal is. Business. That's yeah. funny. How'd you like to fix this <laughs> And there's sure. the old TBS Superstation logo. Be a real pleasure. I haven't seen that one in years. Well, there you go. We'll get that kid yeah. in you like to fix There's a skip back feature. Hey. Multiple no. skip backs. Commercials. Now. Stockings were something to talk uh, about. Look at that Seinfeld on TBS. I haven't seen nothing like Come that in a while. Is there a problem, officer? And you should have a rewind button too. Look at the rewind on that. Pretty smooth. Oh, check that out. Is that a PlayStation 2 commercial? Look at that. Pause that. The awesome. Place to play. Cool. Cool. Step so we'll hit the stop key. We'll go back. And notice that there says PVR, not DVR. Oh, looks like everything still works on here. And there's cool runnings. Resume again. Oh, looks like that's at the beginning. Two hours left. CBS. Yep. Looks like the 16.9 doesn't matter because it's still doing the box. Maybe because this is not in 16 by 9. I don't think I think of. So we'll stop it. So this is funny. When you hit stop, it always goes back to the DVR. <clears throat> doesn't give any options. Cancel. And... That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. The old 510 PVR. At least we know that hard drive still works. And box is still, like I said, looks in good condition. Well, that's it. On the review of the Dish Network 510 Dish PVR.